The Cincinnati Bengals. Was it a mistake to go with the wide receiver instead of offensive line in the draft? That's not what we're here to discuss today. We are talking about the 2021 schedule breakdown for the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm Dalton Miller, and as always, I have Ian Cummings alongside of me. We're going to get straight into it. What do you think, Ian, is the most difficult game for the Cincinnati Bengals? Do you agree with Vegas that it is the Kansas City Chiefs at home in week 17. First off, love the intro. You, you paused after C- Cincinnati Bengals. Was it a mistake? So I thought you were just ending it there. Like, hey, you could, no, it's no, applicable. No. no, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Bengals fans. I, I do have to give the Bengals a little bit of respect because we don't know what's going to happen. And I feel like people have been overlooking them a little bit and with good reason because Zach Taylor, not proven, could ultimately be on his way out this year. And if you have turmoil, it's never a good thing for a team. But Joe Burrow's coming back. Love his style of play. You have a ton of weapons on that offense. You have an improving offensive line. Still some holes that could ultimately hurt it. The defensive line has a lot of talent. And they drafted a couple of my guys, Cam Sample, Joseph Asai. They got Trey Hendrickson, Mike Daniels, Larry Ogunjobi, Rennell Wren, who's really athletic. And they have a few pieces in the secondary. Jesse Bates, one of the best safeties in the league. So this is not a completely talent-devoid team. It's just a matter of can they put it together. We're not so sure. But going to the Vegas odds for the toughest game, I think the Chiefs could ultimately be one. That was the one that I picked. I think you could also pick at Cleveland the week later. But the reason I picked Kansas City ultimately is because if they lose this one, I don't think that game matters against Cleveland. Uh, So I think that the Chiefs in week 17, the Chiefs offense, always high octane, always hard to beat. And if you're the Bengals, if you can't find something, if you can, if you can't concoct a plan to stop them, it's never going to turn out well for you. I do think the Bengals have the firepower to maybe at least put up a fight here if they come with a plan, but it's always tough. And the Bengals are one of those teams where, you know, maybe they have some promising pieces, but I don't think they're quite there yet. Yeah. You know, Ian, two things here that I, I want to bring up real quick. Uh, that is not one of the best safeties in the NFL. That is, it, the, it is best the best safety yeah. in the NFL in Jesse Bates. I'm going to throw that out there. Number two, I would like to give Zach Taylor a little bit of love. I know he gets a lot of crap and a lot of it might be warranted. But when you look and I went and I watched Burrow and I watched Baker Mayfield and I compared the two, when I watched Burrow, they did a lot of things offensively that we saw from them at LSU. Put him out in five wide quite a bit. Joe Burrow, extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable working in empty sets you know, when, when you're looking at the offense. So I did kind of like some of the things that they did offensively. Obviously they, they need to just kind of get that roster set so they can compete in what is one of the best divisions in football in the AFC North. I also believe that that game against the chiefs is the most difficult. The one that I want to watch more than anything else for me personally is going to be that Packers game. All right. And that is because I think that there is a, a chance, okay, a chance that the Green Bay Packers are a better football team. I don't want to say that, but for me, it's must watch because you have the Vikings, Bears, Steelers, and Jags. If you start off hot in the season, if you go three and one somehow as the Cincinnati Bengals, they need to do their work early if they want to have a chance to make the playoff somehow in 2021. They need to win three of those first four games. If they can somehow beat, The Packers in week five, I think that that springboards them forward into a possible playoff contention in the 2021 NFL season. And so for me, that's going to be one to watch. I also just selfishly want to see if Joe Burrow and that Cincinnati offense can keep up with the Packers offense early in the season. And honestly, I want to see how healthy Joe Burrow is come the start of the season in 2021. Yeah, and you look at that Packers defense. I mean, they have a lot of good pieces. They have... Um, especially in the secondary. Spe- especially yeah, the yeah. Secondary. And even on the line, I mean, Rashawn Gary, I mean, Kenny Clark, Zadarius Smith, Preston Smith, and the secondary, Jair Alexander, Adrian Amos. I mean, there are a lot of good pieces, but there are a few... Like, if you can exploit the little holes, the little cracks in that big wall, then maybe you can try and take home that victory. Uh, so that is definitely one to watch. The one that I marked as the must watch, and this, you know, any must watch game is going to be a little, like any one that you choose is going to be a little impacted on your expectations for the team. I don't necessarily think they'll be a playoff contender. I think they could be if everything breaks their way. Uh, but if they aren't, then one game that maybe to watch just to see if there's progress heading into next year, the New York Jets. That is a team that they have a new regime, Robert Sala, uh, Mike LaFleur. 
Zach Wilson, the new QB. Uh, if the Bengals can take care of business against that team, uh, it shows that they're at least a tier above them. And maybe heading into 2022, a little bit of promise. Maybe you can springboard, use this season as a springboard uh, to maybe contend in 2022. I feel like that game could be a good gauge for where they're at right now. Because I do think that this roster has talent. It's just a matter of, a matter of is Zach Taylor the guy? And I think he's a good guy. I'm really, I hope he works out because, you know, as you said, they did some good things with Joe Burrow before he got injured. Uh, but ultimately, playing in this tough division uh, can be a really tough distortion uh, for your resume. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah, for me, I, in a similar vein, I think it's the the Raiders coming off of the bye. I think that you need to take care of business in that game if you want to keep your playoff hopes alive. Um, I, I think that the, the Raiders are a team that offensively um, got – maybe a little bit worse when it comes yeah. to losing guys on the offensive line. It, it's a, a defense that I think is still in a bit of, of disarray overall. And there's some infighting between your general manager and your head coach in Las Vegas. I think that coming off the bye, the Cincinnati Bengals need to win that football game if they want a chance to make the playoffs as a wild card team. Because let, let's be real, they're not going to win the division. Um, but to be a playoff team, they, they need to take care of business against the Las Vegas Raiders. Tell us in the comments what do you think. I know, I know you Cincinnati Bengals fans love you some Joe Burrow. So let us know in the comments what do you think is the defining game of the season? What is the one game that you guys are sitting down in your couch? Listen, you're Bengals fans, so you're going to sit down on the couch and watch every game. But which game do you want to see the most? And then what do you think is the most difficult game? I mean, obviously, why is it uh, going to be um, – against the Chiefs in week 17. It's because the Chiefs are the second best team in the NFL, but that's neither here nor there. Let us know.